Hey everyone, welcome into the Arena Productions, and in this video, we're diving into a spoiler-filled recap and review of House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 7, titled The Red Sewing. If you haven't seen the episode yet, I highly recommend heading over to HBO to watch it before continuing with this video. There are major spoilers ahead, so consider this your warning. Okay, so let's get into the episode here. So we begin with Rhaenyra meeting Adam of Hull on a beach where he pledges his loyalty to her as a dragon rider. This moment is significant as it introduces a new dragon rider to her cause, highlighting the growing importance of dragon seeds. In King's Landing, we see Grand Maester Orwell tending to Alicent's injured wrist from the previous riot. Alicent, feeling demoralized, retreats to the Kingswood for solitude and reflection, indicating her ongoing struggles within the court. Laris Strong continues to push for Aegon's recovery, despite the pain it causes him. This subplot emphasizes the internal power struggles and the physical toll on Aegon as he tries to regain his strength. Rhaenyra receives news from Myseria about the potential for more dragon riders among the Targaryen bastards in King's Landing. This leads to a bold plan to gather these bastards at Dragonstone, which could significantly bolster her forces. Meanwhile, Damon faces challenges in Harrenhal, where young Lord Oscar Tully demands justice for House Bracken. Damon's vision of Viserys further complicates his emotional state and his commitment to the crown. So the episode also highlights the recruitment efforts of Corlys, who, after being impressed by Adam's actions, considers the potential of other dragon seeds, including Alan and Raina Targaryen. Raina's search for a dragon continues, adding another layer to the ongoing dragon rider saga. A significant portion of the episode focuses on Rhaenyra's attempts to gather potential dragon riders. This culminates in a chaotic scene where Vermithor, one of the largest dragons, wreaks havoc on the hopefuls, ultimately choosing Hugh Hammer as his rider. Ulf, another hopeful, accidentally bonds with Silverwing leading to a tense encounter with Aemon in King's Landing. So now let's get into to my review of the episode. So firstly, the, the, this episode did an excellent job of tying together multiple plot threads and introducing new complexities to the story. So the introduction of Adam of Hull as a new dragon rider was a highlight, showcasing the potential of the dragon seeds and adding a fresh dynamic to Rhaenyra's camp. Alicent's storyline was particularly poignant, her retreat to the Kingswood and the solitude she seeks reflect her growing sense of isolation and helplessness. The writers, I felt, did a fantastic job portraying her internal struggles and the pressures she faces from both her family and her political enemies. Lara Strong's relentless push for Aegon's recovery added tension and highlighted the physical and psychological toll on Aegon. This subplot, while somewhat secondary, enriched the overall narrative by emphasizing the stakes involved in the power struggle. The chaotic dragon riding auditions were both thrilling and tragic. Vermithor's fiery rampage was a visually stunning uh, sequence, and the eventual bonding with Hugh Hammer was a potential moment that showcased the unpredictable nature of dragons. Ulf's accidental bond with Silverwing added a touch of humor and unpredictability to the episode. So Damon's visions of the series were haunting and added depth to his character. These visions served as a reminder of the burdens of leadership and the heavy price of ambition. The episode's pacing was well executed, balancing multiple storylines without feeling rushed. Uh, the visual effects, particularly during the dragon scenes, were top-notch, enhancing the overall experience. So overall... I felt The Red Sewing was a standout episode that masterfully intertwined character development, political intrigue, and thrilling action. The introduction of new dragon riders and the growing tension between the factions set the stage for an explosive season finale. So, if you enjoyed this recap and review, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. And I'd love to hear what you thought of the episode in the comments below. So did you enjoy the new characters and what did you think uh, and what we, do you think will happen in the season finale? So I'd really like to hear from you. Uh, so uh, let us know in the comments and uh, 
if you are also uh, another programming note if you are into uh the boys over on amazon uh we just did here on the arena productions a season four roundtable discussion uh recap of the season so please be sure to check that out as well if you like the boys so anyway take care and we hope to catch you next week for the season finale recap and review of house of the dragon season two so take care everyone peace out